Thanks for watching our internet edition of Nightline. I'm Cynthia McFadden. Now to when ignorance is not bliss. The latest examples of our leaders not necessarily doing their homework. Think that everybody in the government knows everything they need to know about the enemy and the war on terrorism? Well, think again. ABC's senior national correspondent Jake Tapper has the first installment of a new feature here on Nightline, The Big Quiz. It's time to play the horrifying game show, What Do Our Leaders Not Know? At the end of his policy-oriented, probing interviews, national security reporter Jeff Stein likes to ask key intelligence officials and members of Congress basic information he thinks they should know. Thank you, Such Jane. as asking Congressman also, uh, Silvestro Reyes, the new Democratic chairman of the powerful House Intelligence Committee, and, the is and Reyes's response? Terror. Right. <laughs> Muslim. <laughs> right, but they're, what, are Shia or Sunni? Hmm. Al-Qaeda, al al they have both. Predominantly, probably Shia. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Al-Qaeda is 100% Sunni. Incoming Intelligence Committee Chairman Reyes, I'm sorry, but you are incorrect. In a statement, Reyes says, as a member of the Intelligence Committee since before 9-11, I'm acutely aware of Al-Qaeda's desire to harm Americans. The Intelligence Committee will keep its eye on the ball. Stein also asked Intelligence Committee member and Republican Congresswoman Joanne Davis of Virginia a question. What's the difference between a Sunni and a Shia? The Sunni are more radical than the Shia, or it's vice versa. You know, I'm not asking them to recite the Koran. I'm asking them to define the major political groups in the Middle East. The issue seems to touch at a larger problem. How many fluent Arabic speakers does the Iraq study group say are in the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad? 600? 60? 6? Stein says he got the idea to find out what top intelligence officials do not know after hearing about the 2004 deposition of Dale Watson, the former assistant director for the FBI's counterterrorism division. Do you know who Osama bin Laden's spiritual leader was? Can't recall. Uh, and what, do you know the differences in the religion between Shia and Sunni Muslims? Not technically, no. The FBI says in a statement that FBI executives have a fundamental understanding of the difference between Shia and Sunni Muslims from experience, education, and in-depth knowledge. Of course, none of us should be surprised by any counterterrorism leaders failing to know certain key information. Can you name the president of Chechnya? No, can you? Remember this pop quiz from 1999? President Bush scored one out of four. And you can name him. General, I can't name the general. And it's... General. That would be General Pervez Musharraf, a name the president learned soon enough. And, by the way, he's Sunni. This is Jake Tapper for Nightline in Washington. <laughs> the Big Quiz. That's today's internet edition of Nightline. Thanks for downloading us. I'm Cynthia McFadden. For Martin Bashir, Terry Moran, and all of us at ABC News, all the best for the rest of your day. President was hit. He is in stable condition. It is the worst disaster in the history of the American space program. I've never seen a royal wedding like this. <laughs> O.J. Simpson wanted on two counts of murder. Relive the most dramatic days in history with ABC News. Download The Day It Happened today at iTunes.